all right hello hello welcome to heal and ascend to row so i hope everyone is doing well today is going to be your general love reading all right so let's find out what's going on with you and the person on your mind all right um there is a promo going on right now so i'll leave the information down below but there'll also be something on the video there as well okay so if you guys want to book something personal my information's down below i also offer online courses and guided meditations all right so let's take a look and see so what's going on with you and the person on your mind So keep in mind too, this is general, so it may or may not resonate. Take it if it does, leave it if it doesn't. Don't try to make it fit if it doesn't fit, okay? Um, not every reading will, but they are timeless, which means that you can come back another time and it may resonate. Okay, so let's take a look and see. Let's see, what's the connecting energy here between you and your person? What's the connecting energy? The three of wands in reverse, okay? Staying in your comfort zone right now. You guys could be at a distance from each other. This could be physically or emotionally. Let's clarify the three of wands are rares. Seven of cups and the page of cups. So I feel like surrounding the two of you right now um, is a lot of confusion. I see that there's a distance between the two of you. Again, it could be physical or emotional distance. Um, the two of you might have more of a friendship right now at the page of cups, or there could be someone here who's wanting to make an emotional offer, but I'm just getting a lot of, a, a lot of confusion, um, surrounding this connection right now. Things might feel like they're up in the air, or there's just a lot of emotional confusion and a lot of distance between the two of you. Okay. Um, I'm actually going to grab from the Oracle deck here as well. Let's see what's connecting these two. Okay, so what do you need to know about this connection? Okay, so for those who are tuning in, what do we need to know? Let's see here. We do have commitment here. Okay, let's get one more card. So we have commitment. We have contemplation. Oh yeah, so someone's definitely in their head about this connection. With the contemplation, this is like someone who's in the clouds. And then we also have here the seven of cups, which is in the clouds above the water in the clouds. So I'm definitely getting that. This is the connecting energy. So both of you guys are in your heads about each other. Um, you guys could both be wanting a commitment or wanting to move towards something committed. I think this is something that both of you guys are desiring here. But I see, it does feel like there's distance, but I see that both of you are thinking about commitment or have considered the thought of commitment um, with each other. It just might be something that's more in your head right now rather than something that you're actually discussing with one another. Let's actually see why the distance, I'm picking up distance, why is there distance between these two, Spirit? Why is there distance between these two? We have the three of pentacles, so this could have been because of a love triangle. If that's the case, this might be coming to an end, or there could be the releasing of a love triangle. We have the three of pentacles in reverse, so this could be why. The other reason I'm getting here for the distance could be that the two of you are really struggling to get along in the past, okay? You couldn't seem to see eye to eye, or you couldn't seem to make things um, work, like coming together. The three of pentacles can also talk about collaboration, so you guys might have been struggling to like make your um, perspectives kind of blend. So there could have been a lot of um, clashing between the two of you is what I'm seeing here. Okay, but for some of you, the reason why there was distance or is distance, sorry, is because there was a love triangle or is a love triangle. But if that's the case, I do think that this is coming, this is going to be released with the three of pentacles coming through in reverse. Okay, I'm also seeing, the reason why I say that too is because there's only one person in this three of pentacles. All right, so let's take a look. So their current energy towards you. Okay, their current energy towards you. Let's see here. We have the Five of Wands in reverse and the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, okay. So right now, again, they're in their head. Okay, so with the Seven of Cups, the contemplation, definitely this person, it's like you're in their head, you're in their mind right now. They're thinking about you a lot. They have a bit of an internal conflict going on right now. Okay, because they've been thinking about making an offer towards you, but there's something that is holding them back right now we have the page of pentacles in reverse for some of you guys this could be a taurus virgo capricorn i'm also seeing pisces cancer scorpio here okay you are your person doesn't really matter but i see that they're holding back they're having an internal conflict about you they've definitely thought about making an offer towards you reaching out um whatever it may be but they haven't yet i'm seeing that they've been holding back let's see why this is why is this person holding back towards my viewers because they're still indecisive, the Two of Swords. They're still thinking about it. 
there's something that's got them conflicted here, especially with the Five of Wands in reverse. So they've definitely thought about it. I just feel like this person is more so stuck in their head rather than taking action towards you right now. Okay, so what is your energy towards this person? Okay, what is your energy towards this person? I hope you guys can see. It looks kind of like there's a bit of a glare. We'll zoom in a bit. Um, your energy towards this person. We have the Hermit in reverse. So I'm seeing Virgo here. Some of you guys, um, and we have the Sun in reverse. Two major arcana. Why is that not focusing? I don't like this. Let's see. I'm sorry, guys, if it's not super clear. I really... I don't know. It's hard to see from this little... Um, screen here that I have that's reversed but I'm hoping that it's okay for you guys when it all when it all comes out but okay so anyways your energy towards them we have two major arcana we have the sun and the hermit both in reverse so you guys are feeling sad about this situation it does look like there's been a period of, of solitude I see that you're wanting to get out of this energy so if you've been taking time to yourself um, you're wanting to get out of this you're wanting to come back around to this person because you've been feeling sad sun in reverse Okay. All right, so let's take a look. What are their current intentions? So this person, what is their current intention, Spirit? What are their current intentions towards my viewer? The Ace of Swords. So they want to be very direct with you. This person's intending to be very honest with you. They want to be very clear. Let's see what this is about, the Ace of Swords. So they want to bring you some sort of truth the six of pentacles so their intentions are to give to the situation and i think that's why right now they're trying to figure out maybe how to do it or when to do it uh, but i do feel like their intentions are to give to the situation equally six of pentacles and they also want to be very honest with you about something here okay they want to be truthful with you they want to um they just want to be real with you is what i'm seeing and with the six of pentacles they definitely want to give to the situation so those are their intentions, okay? Because I do feel like both of you are actually looking at this connection in terms of the potential for commitment. This is something that, because keep in mind, this is a connecting energy. So both of you guys are thinking about the potential of commitment here. But I do see that the situation is a little bit up in the air or there's a lot of confusion surrounding it. Um, let's see, what are your intentions right now? What are your intentions? So you guys are just literally planning on doing nothing right now. We have the Five of Pentacles with the Four of Swords. Okay, so you're feeling kind of out in the cold. Um, Four of Swords is my card of separation or silence. It's about just saying nothing, non-action. Same with the Five of Pentacles, really. So I don't really see you guys planning on taking any action towards this person. Um, luckily, I do see that they're intending to, to make some sort of move towards you. Let's actually see where this is heading. So where is this connection heading, Spirit? Where is this connection heading? Wow, we have the Empress. I'm seeing beautiful energy for some of you guys. <laughs> um, maybe not right away, but in the, in the future, 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 um, there could possibly be children with this person if that's what you're wanting. Um, Empress can sometimes re represent pregnancy, but but overall, what I'm actually getting, that's a small message for some of you guys, but that's more long term. That's more in the far future. Um, but I'm getting, okay, so with the Empress coming through here, I'm seeing a new, like a birthing of something new. I'm seeing a new beginning. I'm seeing um, a lot of respect as well is what I'm hearing, like a new beginning where you guys are very respectful of each other. I'm seeing here... Um, this honoring like an honoring of each other like seeing each other in a positive light and also wanting to honor and nurture each other now the thing is is your person is coming through as much more open to giving right now i feel like you guys have definitely taken a step back there is some sadness let's see why you're in this energy because there's a lot of i feel like kind of a grief on your side here let's see why you're coming through with all this energy the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So this situation might have been stuck for a while. So some of you guys, you've been sitting in this energy for quite a while where you've been feeling out in the cold, you've been feeling sad. Um, this could possibly be because there hasn't been enough movement forward or things have been stuck. But I do see that changing. The Empress would indicate very, very positive energy in the near future. Okay. I'm also getting both of you guys are very highly attracted to each other. This is also representing that both of you guys will be standing in your power. Okay, um, which only good things can come from that. When two people are standing in their power, that makes for a really great connection. Um, so I'm seeing really, really positive energy coming through, especially with both of you wanting a commitment um, with each other. 
Okay, let's dive a little bit deeper into this person's feelings for you right now. Okay, so Spirit, how is this person currently feeling about my viewers? How is this person currently feeling? Curious. Yeah, this person's very interested in what's going on with you right now. Okay. And this is how they're feeling. Let's clarify this. So this says interested, fascinated, inquisitive. So this person definitely wants to know all about you is what I'm getting. Um, if they already know a lot about you, they just want to learn more. They're very interested. They're very fascinated by you right now. Why is curious here? Why is curious here? Strength in reverse. Okay. It's, it's interesting. So this kind of gives me the vibe of this person really getting information on you from afar. I feel like with this Curious card, this kind of reminds me of the Page of Swords where this person is like watching you, checking in on you, maybe asking other people about you or just getting information um, about you somehow. But it almost feels like they're doing this from a distance. It's like they're not doing this directly by just asking you questions. And the reason why is because this person has some self-doubts right now, okay? So they are lacking a bit of confidence from what I'm seeing with the Strength card in reverse. I do think that they will get over this though because the outcome looks positive, but their current energy is they're having some doubts about themselves, so they're really, they are very interested in you, but I see that they're watching you kind of from afar, um, is kind of the vibe that I'm getting here, okay? <clears throat> so let's see, what are their uh, messages for you? Alright, so what are their messages for you, this person that you're dealing with? What do they want to tell you right now? So, yeah, look at this. Like I was saying, a lot of attractions. We have the Empress coming through, and then we also have You're So Beautiful, okay? Um, Empress is the outcome in the near future, but this person does find you very attractive. Like I was saying, you're very beautiful, or if you're a man, you're very handsome. We have here, I'm struggling with money, okay? So this person is having some financial concerns right now. Yeah, so then we have, please be patient a little longer. So like I said, I do see this person having the intention of giving to the situation. Um, not only that, they want to be very honest with you. I feel like this person wants to be very truthful. They want to be very honest. Like they're coming through in a very clear, direct way. So I don't think this person is going to be playing any games when they come around to you. I feel like this person is going to be very straight up, very direct with you. But they are just wanting you to be patient a little bit longer. Let's clarify why here. Because for some of you guys, I do think you've been waiting for this person. And that's why you're kind of getting restless with this energy. Um, you feel like the situation has been stuck for a while. Why is this here? Please be patient a little longer. Clarify this. Yeah, see the Ten of Wands. So this person is carrying some baggage. Um, this person has some weight that they're needing to release. So this could be other things in their life. You know, it could be struggles with money. There could be other emotional things that they're dealing with. So they want to release these burdens before they come around to you. All right. Um, let's actually clarify this. Let's clarify what the emotional blockages deck here. So let's see. Clarify the Ten of Wands. Clarify the Ten of Wands for this person's spirit. Clarify the Ten of Wands. Okay. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Why is the Ten of Wands here? Addiction. Oh, okay. So for some of them, wow, so this got kind of deep. <laughs> this person has some addiction issues. So this could be to anything. This could be food, drugs, alcohol, sex, um, whatever it may be. So this person is, is feeling a, quite weighed down right now because they are trying to break out of these addictions or it could even be addictive patterns, right? It could be negative thinking, being addicted to negative thoughts, whatever it may be. Um, the spectrum, it'll vary on the spectrum. And for a lot of you guys, you might already know what some of their addictive behaviors are or patterns are. Um, but this is what's this is what's kind of holding them back right now. Okay, so they're needing to release these addictive patterns, addictive behaviors. Um, and so they're hoping that you'll be patient with them because I think this is also why it's affecting their confidence and why they're kind of just watching you from afar. Um, I'm also hearing that these addictive patterns are what's affecting like their money situation as well. It could be causing them to feel a little bit unmotivated, but I do feel like this person will be coming around to you. Okay, with the Empress coming through, I'm seeing really positive energy here in the near future. All right, so let's see what you guys need to work on. So what's your blockage? In the meantime, let's see, what, do you, what are my viewers needing to work on right now? What's their emotional blockage? Obsession. So you guys are needing to, so it's very interesting because this energy is so similar. Addiction and obsession, very, very similar energy. So they're needing to release their addictions. What's blocking you is obsession. So some of you guys, I'm going to clarify this actually before I get to it, but um, let's see, why is obsession here for my viewers? 
by his obsession here. Yeah, you guys are too obsessed about the outcome, okay? So here's the thing. <clears throat> Things don't come to you energetically when you're when you're too attached to them, when you're obsessing over them. And I feel like a lot of you guys are obsessed over um, having this Ten of Cups, having this complete fulfillment. And it's fine to want that, right? Like there's nothing wrong with wanting to have this happy, happily ever after, wanting to have this Ten of Cups, emotional fulfillment, all of that. That's great. But when it becomes an obsession, energetically you push it away. All right. So um, I'm seeing here that what's blocking you right now from love or this connection in general is you guys are needing to let go of this obsessive need to have it. Whether it's obsessing over this person or obsessing over the future, you're needing to release the obsession. And I feel like by doing that, it's almost like it's going to relieve the energy that you guys share between each other because they also need to release their addictive patterns, which is obsessive patterns as well. So it could be over two different things, but it looks like both of you guys are kind of working on the same thing right now, okay? Because I feel like for a lot of you guys, this connection has affected you deeply because you've been obsessed about this outcome, okay? Um, with that being said, let's actually take a look and get an advice card here for you. So Spirit, what is the advice for my viewers? What is the advice for those who are watching? What's the advice for my viewers, Spirit? Just one card. What's the advice for my viewers? Okay, so we have the card of indecision, which is really interesting because this is their energy here as well. We have the two of swords. I'm going to clarify why indecision is the advice. Um, <clears throat> let's see here. Why is indecision here, spirit? Yeah, the hanged man. Okay, so interesting. All right. So, okay. So for you, for you, your side, you're getting a lot of energy about things being very stagnant. Like I'm getting a lot of cards here. Like we have the hermit, we have the five of pentacles, the four of swords, the knight of pentacles reverse, and the hangman coming through all for your energy. So this would tell me that this situation right now um, isn't going anywhere, but you guys are stuck in this energy where it's like you're kind of you're keeping yourself stuck because for a lot of you, you don't know what the future holds right now, but it's almost like you're kind of waiting for your, your person to make a decision. But by doing that, you're keeping yourself stuck. So the advice that I'm seeing here for those who are watching is to keep moving forward, make a decision for your life based on what's currently happening at this present moment, move, make some sort of forward movement. So you're not staying in this energy where you're just kind of stuck waiting for this person, because by doing that, what's happening is it's causing you to be obsessed about some future outcome, right? Um, so you're needing to just keep moving forward with your life because by staying in this stuck energy of constantly waiting for this person to make a decision about you, you're holding yourself back. And it's actually, it, it's actually causing the connection in itself to be stagnant because energetically you're still attached to the situation, waiting for it, waiting for it, waiting for it. So um, you have the ability to make the decision to actually just choose a path for yourself and move forward regardless of what this person is doing. Um, because I do see this person coming around, but the reason why they're not coming around is because they're still going through some stuff. They're needing to break out of their addiction, but you guys are mirroring this energy because you're needing to let go of this obsession about the future with this person and just keep moving forward with your life. It's kind of like recognizing that you can be happy with or without this person. And it's like the moment you decide that you can be happy without this person, they show up. But you have to actually do it for you. You have to move forward for you. Um, and the only way that you're going to be able to break out of this obsession is by not waiting for this situation anymore. Because you can't keep your life on hold waiting for someone to make a decision about you. Right? So that's the, that's the guidance here from Spirit. So um, I do truly hope that this reading was helpful for you guys. Um, as always, if you want to book your own personal reading, my information is down below and I am offering the promo. So I'll put it in the description box and somewhere on the video as well. If you're interested, I do highly recommend if you're on the spiritual path, I have a twin flame course that talks about the push pull dynamic between, um, between twins. Um, why your twin runs away, why, um, you know, karmics get involved, all of that stuff. So I explained that there's a video in there. I also have a self love course, which I highly recommend too. There's also a bonus video that I've just added recently. It's a 22 minute long video where I discuss spirituality. Um, we go into, you know, the nitty gritty, um, and essentially how to connect to your soul energy, because once you do that, it's like your life starts to fall into place. 
and you start to release things like obsessions and attachments and all of this stuff because you know you can get a tarot reading and you know it can give you guidance and it can help you to get an idea of what's going on in your current situation but if you really want to make some you know transformations in your life it's about you doing your own spiritual work right so i do feel like both of this and i'm, I'm grateful that i'm able to do both because i feel like i can um you know provide the readings which can be very like entertaining and they can be um, a source of guidance but I also appreciate the fact that I'm able to work with people one-on-one -on -one or even just, you know, um, create these courses that support people on their spiritual journey as well because everything goes hand in hand. All right. Anyways, that's my long rant. <laughs> All right. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm sending you absolute love and light and I wish you all of the best on your journeys. Take care.